in a monster bug war. There's treachery at every turn. Enemies with super weapons. Really big, nasty jaws. Foes with superpowers. They just leap onto it and sink the fangs in. In a bug war, your best chance of staying alive is to take nothing for granted. This destructive Katie did has few rivals on terra firma. But when she takes to the air in these parts, she's vulnerable. The Katie did's unplanned landing is met by a barrage of legs and spider silk. They wrestle frantically. If those jaws do break free, the fight could turn in an instant. The Katie did tries to kick through the silk with its sturdy hind legs. It snips at the web. The spider must move fast. The tent spider makes its move. Now it's up to the venom to do its deadly work. Even as it begins shutting him down, the Katie did continues to fight. But it's too late. Today, Venom wins. The alarm goes out through the colony. As the ants start nipping at his heels, he loses his balance and falls onto the nest. The beetle's best defense is its impenetrable armor. And that's where the ants attack in force. The beetle tries to escape. He needs to get clear to fly away. But carrying vicious ants as excess baggage, he can't get to the runway. The ants dig deeper now. They crawl inside the skin of their prey, spraying formic acid savagely and relentlessly. Dozens of mandibles are biting the beetle to death. In this battle, size becomes a disadvantage. A lumbering armored tank is no match for armor-piercing infantry. The green jumping spider measures the distance. The key to the kill is securing the victim as quickly as possible. She stalks her opponent. And scores a direct hit. Her fangs might be small, but they drip with deadly venom. As the long jaw discovered to his dismay, the supermodel is more than just a pretty face. Looks can kill. The 
giant banded huntsman. So she can jump in any direction. The jungle huntsman goes for a speedy sidestep. But the GBH moves even faster. The jungle huntsman is skewered through its soft underbelly. Fangs like eagle's talons rip into its body again and again. Wasps are at a disadvantage. But one-on-one, -on -one, a larger wasp overpowers a single ant. Some are thrown to the ground. Others killed instantly. But in ant battle tactics, strength lies in numbers. Individual wasps are pinned down, sprayed with formic acid, and bitten ferociously. Alone, they have no answer to a combined attack. The green ants may have the upper hand, but now the wasps retaliate. Mounting a concerted airborne attack, they breach the ants' headquarters and begin carrying off the ant brood. More and more wasps overwhelm the ant's nest. It's a mass attack. Under the onslaught, green ants scurry to save their young. It's carnage. The battlefield is littered with the wounded, the dying, and the dead. The wasp's superior airborne maneuverability and their preemptive strike on the ant's nest tips the balance. They overcome their assailants. But at enormous cost. Defeated, the green ants sound the retreat. Their bunker is torn apart. They scrambled to salvage the surviving larvae. In a bug war of this magnitude, the refugees have no choice but to escape with their young, to start a new life in another part of the forest. She moves into position. A quick clinical kill. As the venom-filled fangs plunge into the orb weaver's body, what took more than an hour of scheming and preparing is over in a moment. Portia venom is unusually potent, especially to spiders as the deadly cocktail courses through its body. The long jaw is paralyzed, then eaten. The centipede storms in, but stops. The katydid backs off. It's all the hesitation the tree centipede needs. With one trademark blow from its venom claws, the centipede delivers the knockout. Katie did is alive, but helpless. Its savage mandibles and spiky legs are useless. The centipede's powerful jaws now go to work. Ripping, tearing, feeding. 
each waiting for the other to make a move. The spider opens with a sidestep, but the scorpion grabs its leg. The wound is a badge of courage for this huntsman. But she's not the only spider prowling in the forest tonight. Another huntsman comes along, flashing its badge. But after tasting spider flesh, the scorpion's keen for more. Now it's back for a kill. The badge huntsman will attack with lightning speed and hypodermic fangs. The spider killer grabs first and tries to land a death blow. But the huntsman fends off the stinger with its long legs, hoping to sink in its fangs. The wrecking ball overcomes the commando and lands a clean shot to the back of the badge huntsman's head. No need to hurry this meal. Meat always tastes better if it's hung. The scorpion feasts on its victim's body. A once proud badge of honor is trash on the forest floor. But the leech is back. It searches for the crab's Achilles heel. and finally finds access to the soft flesh. The jaw is clearly visible. The leech starts to suck the crab dry from the inside. And if that's bad news, there's worse to come. Leeches have chemosensory organs and they've detected a crab in trouble. Another tiger leech joins the feeding frenzy. It latches on. The crab grabs with its claws, but the leech is covered with slimy mucus and slips out of the crab's grasp. The claws have dispensed with one leech, but now they're gummed with slime. Undisturbed, the remaining leech sucks the life out of the crab. This unsuspecting wolf spider is taken down before it knew what hit it. The green belly's vicious fangs rip into its body, mashing it up. The mantis has its guard up, ready to strike. The mantis throws a lightning fast right jab. The katydid ducks for cover. Round two. The mantis comes out swinging. The katydid finds its range with its antennae.
The katydid locks the mantis in a raptorial cage and delivers a killer bite to the mantis's eye. It's a cut no corner can repair. Already? There will be no round three. In an even matchup, sheer ferocity tips the scales. It launches itself, but into an orb weaver's web. The sticky net absorbs the cricket's energy. At the same time, it glues her feet to the silk. The orb weaver rushes down. It begins spinning a silken shroud. Multiple threads stream from her spinnerets. The spiny cricket lashes out with its legs. Until those legs are bound, the orb weaver is in mortal danger. A well-placed kick or a razor-sharp spine slashing her soft abdomen could be fatal. The cricket is still alive and kicking, but to no avail. The spider sinks in her fangs. Strong venom, golden bonds. There's no escape and no future. The tree cricket is done for. The desert centipede sizes up the scorpion with its antennae. The desert centipede tries a direct hit. But there's no avoiding those pincers. The centipede attacks again. The scorpion tries to run, but the centipede has it by the tail. The centipede bites the scorpion's tail. With the stinger out of action, all the scorpion has are its claws. It snaps at the centipede. To hold the prey perfectly in place while it delivers its venom. The centipede climbs over its victim's back and sinks in its venom claws. It's a knockout and submission hold all in one. But in this cage fight, there's no tapping out. This time, the assassin bug makes no mistake. With one quick stab, the assassin bug's rostrum pierces the earwig's back. Venom floods in. The earwig's deadly pincers are useless. The earwig's insides are dissolved and drained. The garbage man becomes garbage on the forest floor for others to finish off. One more creature that never makes it to a ripe old age.